Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can enter a car in first person by opening the door, get in, then we can drive around and of course get out again. So let's go. First of all we need our interact interface. Since I showed it many times before I will quickly go through it. If you want more details of course link is in the description. So we have our pointer image, just an empty circle and an Filled one here, also we have a widget, so right click, use interface widget, just a pointer image, as you can see, it's a variable, very important, just called pointer image, as an image. So we can close this one as well, as well we have our interact interface, so right click, blueprint, interface, let's open this up as well, this gets one function just called interact, where we have an input called component as a string, very important for later. Then we have our instance, so right click, blueprint class and search for the game instance, this one here, and I called it my instance. Let's open this up as well. This gets a variable called character as an, in this case, first person character object reference, since we're using the first person template. If you don't have the first person template now, you can just add it by click add, add feature content pack and add the first person template here. Let's open up our first person character, this one here. So we start up with the begin play event where we create a widget. So right click create widget. We choose our pointer widget here. Then we promote it to a variable called widget. Then we add it to the viewport. We get the game instance, we cast to our my instance that we created, and then we just set the character to a reference to self. Down here we have the event tick event, where we get the first person camera, then we get the world transform and split it. We get the forward vector, multiply this by 500, then we get again the location and Add it to the result here. This will be the end. This will be the start as you can see. Then we have a branch to ask if we really hit something. Then we go from the out hit and say break hit result. Then we go from the hit actor and say does implement interface. We check for our interact interface. Need another branch to ask of course. Then we go from the hit component and get the object name. On true, we want to set the interact actor, which is basically a variable called interact actor as an actor object reference. Also, we have the interact component, also just a variable as a string. And as you can see up here, we want to set it to the hit actor like that. And down here, we want to set it to just nothing as well for the first false case and the second one. After this, we want to set it as well for the object name as the interact component. And down here, we want to set it to nothing. Then we get the widget, get the pointer image, so the variable that I showed you in the widget here. And we want to set it to the fill circle and the empty one. So then we need to key for the interact, so for example the E key here, then we get the interact actor, want to check if it's valid with a question mark, and then we just call the interact message on true, and we want to set it to the interact component. Let's go to our basic car, in my case it's the Firebird, of course you can choose the basic car or whatever you want. I will always recommend to have as many parts as possible as a static mesh as you can see, so we can customize them or control them separately, much better, much easier. So the first thing that we need is we will add up an arrow, and this arrow will be beside the driver door, like that. So this is basically the position where we will get out of the car, where the character will stand. 
basically like that. Then we need to add an box collision. This will be the driver seat. And of course we place it kind of where the driver will be sitting right here, more up, uh, basically like that. Then we open up the details and we want to go to custom for the collision here. We can ignore everything except for the trace response visibility. We set it to block. And also we will check the simulate generate hit events to true. Then we can compile and save this and close this one. Let's go to the event graph. Nothing special here, just the basic vehicle template. Let's go down here and we want to add up the interact, go to the class settings. We have the implement interfaces and add up our interact interface. Compile and save this as well. Then we go to interfaces, double click on the interact and there we have it. We want to go from the component and say switch on string. Open up the details. We can uncheck the has default pin and add up some pins here. Very important that you match exactly the component name in this case. So we can, if you want, just copy and paste it for the right door, for the left door, and of course for the driver's seat like that. Then we start from the right door and say flip, flop. We want to add a timeline, this one here, and let's call this open right door. A will be play, B will be reverse. And then we open this up, add a flow track here, Put this also to, let's say, two seconds here. Then we add a key at zero and the value of zero. And now it's very important to go to the viewport. So we have the right door here. We open up the details. You can see we have already, in my case, a rotation of minus 90. So this means when we go to this key here, the start value will be minus 90. And now we need another key at two seconds. And now we need to figure out which rotation we need or want. So we just go to our car here and rotate it like that. And I would say, yeah, that looks, that looks fine. So we have 150. So we return it here, go back and add the key to minus 150. So this will be the open door function for the right door. So we can compile and save this and close this one. Then of course take the right door here and want to set the relative rotation in this case. We want to update it, right click, split structure pin, and since we just want to set the draw here, we connect the new track zero to the draw. That's it for the right door. We can basically copy and paste this down here for the left door, like that. Of course, we need to replace this with the left door and we need to fix the curve, of course. Let's go back to our viewport, check for the left door the details. This is also starting at minus 90, but we have another degree here. So this will be, for example, minus 30 in this case. That's also fine. So let's go back to the key. We have minus 90 and this will be minus 30. Compile and save this as well. We can, of course, Rename it to open left door and that's it for left door. The last part will be the driver seat for really entering the car and driving the car. For this we say get player controller. 
we want to post this the car so we need a reference to self since we are in the car here this will be the pawn we go from the driver's seat connect it then we get the enhanced input local player subsystem want to clear all mappings and then we want to add a mapping context and we choose in this case the game vehicle template input so we basically open the door then we want to get in and at the end the door should close so we activate the reverse of the left door in this case so when we get in the door will automatically close let's go back to our level here very important to go to the edit project settings maps and modes and be sure that you add the instance that you created under game instance class let's go back to our firebird and choose a key for example again the e key if you want to exit the car for this we again get the game instance cause to our my instance get the character in our case the first person character we want to set the transform in this case the actor transform here we check the teleport to true we get the arrow here get the transform the world transform in this case then we connect it to the new transform again get the player controller want to poses in this case the character again get the enhanced local player subsystem want to clear all mappings and at the end we add the mapping context again for the first person character this one here compile and save this let's see if this works we hit play walk up to the car press e to interact with the door press e to interact with the driver's seat we can drive around and when we hold here and press e again we get out again and of course we can repeat this we can again open the door get in and drive around again great so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know and yeah goodbye